Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Tax cut center discussion in Washington. Indiana Senator Richard Lugar says some economists believe tax cuts are likely leading to more business and an increase in small businesses. He also says the extensions of other forms of taxes could mean an increase in job markets. Temperatures across the Hoosier state haven't reached freezing all week. In a report by Sarah Whitmire, she reports that on Bloomington's most vulnerable population, the homeless, and how they are coping with the extreme cold. Forecasters predict temperatures tonight to plummet into the low single digits. When it dips that low, the homeless population scrambles for a place to go. I think probably the hardest part is when somebody comes and you can't house them. Martha's House Executive Director Bobby Summers hasn't had to turn anyone away this year, but every night for the past several days she's had to hand out these sleeping bags and let guests sleep in an overflow area in the kitchen next door. Every night I get a couple more people. I'll get a couple more people tonight. So within, a, within the week I'll be completely full and, and it'll stay that way until March 31st when we shut that program down. When people come into the shelter who Summers doesn't have room for, she gives them two bus tickets and calls around to help them find a bed for the night somewhere else. People can often find a bed through the help of the Interfaith Winter Shelter Program. Four churches participate and take turns offering shelter to the homeless. First United Church serves as a shelter two days a week, and even though it's only December, Jack Skiles says they're already struggling with reaching capacity. There are still people out there in tents around town, and they come in as they get tired and as they get colder. Last year, First United hit a peak of 41 people in the middle of the winter. That number has been as high as 51 already this year. Skiles says the church is working with other community resources to develop more space. For WTIU News, I'm Sarah Whitmire. And a look at your weather tonight. Clear, lows around 16. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 40s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, lows around 30. And looking forward to your five-day forecast on Friday, partly sunny, highs in the upper 40s, lows in the mid-30s. Saturday, rain and isolated thunderstorms, highs in the upper 40s, lows in the upper 20s. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of snow, lows around 30.